hello friends welcome to sql server tutorial now we are at the final part of now we are at the final part of the sub series transaction log based backup We know differential or incremental backup from previous video. Transaction log backup is even more granular and quicker. It makes use of transaction logs while performing the restore operation. Transaction logs keep track of all database transaction and log grows when time elapses. So for example, if database is going on with the transaction like this let's assume that here is where the incremental backup was taken and transaction is going on like this so during this transaction the transaction log entry will get filled and once you take a backup the data will move to the backup from these uh, transaction log entries. So, transaction log keep tracks of all the database transaction and the log grows when time elapses because of this uh, writing. While taking the backup, the transaction log data will be transferred to the backup file. Right? If uh, here is the backup file on this backup slot, the content will move to this backup file to use this backup uh, this backup in the sense a transaction log based backup you have to set the recovery mode as full let's change the recovery mode to full for the pubs database here we are at a pubs database make sure properties options and recovery model is full sometimes the recovery model may be in simple state on that case you can take full backup but for transaction log backup i have to set the recovery model as full multiple transaction log backups can be taken between two differential backup we already know about the differential backup there may be multiple differential backup between two full backup the same way there will be multiple transaction lag backup between two differential backups in the picture beside we can see transaction logs with the help of full and differential backups the maximum data loss can be 2 over 59 minutes here if you see at client 1 the full backup was taken on every Sunday and a differential backup is taken on a daily basis 11 o'clock p.m. and between two daily I mean two differential backup there will be multiple transaction log based backup which was taken every three hours so that's why here we are stating every two I mean the transaction or the uh, loss of transaction is 2 over 59 minutes because uh, that's the granular uh, frequency in which a transaction log was uh, taken now let's usually transaction log backup will be will be done automatically via jobs in case of a crisis the following order will be followed for uh, restoring the backup you have to decide the nearest full backup then uh, the maximum uh, recovery of uh, differential backup and from there you can pick the transaction log based backup so this way you can check uh, reverting the database to the nearest available backup and check if error is happening so if you feel the database is reverted and you avoided the error 
so you, you done that with the maximum uh, recovery maximum recovery in the sense you avoided the data loss let's state that there are multiple increment backup between two differential backup and if error happened here right you will revert here and you will st still see error and you will check like this reverting and when you revert to this specific location you will see that error is resolved so only data loss is during this period right so you don't need to go back to the full differential uh, backup or the previous differential backup you can make use of this transaction log or granular level and that way you can restore it now let's take backup with a transaction log as well we will go to the demo so now here we are in uh, a school server uh, database So we have a set of SQL statements. We will take a backup first before doing anything. So backup, remove. We will go ahead with the pub's full DB backup. For that, here we are adding the device for full DB backup. Media option happened. Backup option here we will see full db so here backup is taken and you can see full db backup file is created we will come back here we will execute this update statement take incremental backup before executing this so we will do that task backup choose differential backup remove the device for full backup add it for uh, incremental one media option we will go with the default backup option here we will keep uh, incremental we will take the backup and execute this statement so next before executing the transaction log based uh, backup we will take transaction log based backup here we are choosing transaction log removing the device and adding the t log based device media option we will go ahead with uh, the same one here we will name it as t log 0 1 and we will take the backup execute this specific statement and before executing this one we will take one more backup task backup transaction log we will use the same everything is same here we will use t log 0 2 right t log 0 2 will have test job 1 and now we will execute this and take one more backup and we will take one final backup or uh, not required so now if we go for select start from sales okay we will go ahead with the select start from job here you can see there are 
three test job so these are all recorded as part of our transaction log right now let's go ahead choose task restore database and here the screen presents all the backup option so position if you look at this is the position full db incremental and tlog1 at position 1 and transaction log tlog3 also present here when you look at the file the tlog grows whenever you take the backup i mean the tlog grows whenever you make transaction and when you take backup the content will be moved to this tlog so transaction logs are different and it will be there in the sql server side do not get confused with this tlogs when you take backup the content will move to this tlogs and if you see when i ask to revert to full db i can select only this way because it will revert back everything if i need incremental uh, backup then we need a reference point right so we need full db so even though if i select incremental automatically full db will be selected the same way if i choose tlog2 the tlog1 also get selected if i cancel tlog1 i cannot divide back to tlog2 right now let's divide back till tlog2 before that we have to close this copying it to the clipboard closing the session and doing the revert back here we are reverting back to tlog2 so database is restored successfully now if i execute select start from job here you can see test job one it is reverted back till test job one right we take transaction log backup then we execute the statement similarly we take transaction log two here and we executed that that's why when we reverted back to transaction log two we lost these two and our database is, is reverted back to this stage before taking this transaction log two right whenever we saw the comment at the time we took a transaction log backup right after that we executed this statement and here we asked it to revert back the database till transaction log two that's why we are seeing insert into job values so this one job one now we will go ahead and revert back to the initial state restore database so now we will revert back to the full db here if you look at the timeline it will show at what interval we took the backup let's go to the hover mode and it will show the different database backup period now let's go to the full db and click ok and database is reverted back to the uh, full db select start from jobs you can see all the job select start from sales you can see okay you can see the sales with the 7131 jobs you won't see the new entries because we reverted back to the full backup and we restored our pubs database to the initial stage that's all here in this video Thank you for watching. Bye.